Hi you guys, it's Lisa. Happy Memorial Day. Here's what I had for an idea. I was feeling very patriotic today. And I had this um, piece of MDF board that I didn't like the top of it. So I'm going to cover it up and create something very patriotic for you today. Memorial Day is a fun time of year. Even that we've had kind of a crazy start to the spring. We're going to get through this and I was excited about it. And look at here, I was looking through my papers and that one paper said Soldier Boy on it for the title of the song. So I thought that was very, very appropriate for how I was feeling and making this piece. I'm covering up the back of this piece of MDF board, the front, I'm sorry, and I'm putting down my papers. I wanted some music and I wanted some old um, vintage papers because I'm going to use this truck from Sean Petit and I was thinking vintage, old time, patriotic, um, totally Memorial Day in mind. So I had this napkin and I took the two sides off and I'm going to try and create a flag here out of this napkin and a piece of um, index card actually is what it was and I couldn't get my gesso open here finally and I'm going to cover that so it's not yellow I'm going to use some gesso I hope you guys have celebrated Memorial Day I know today is the day after when you'll be seeing this but I had a great time I went and saw some live music outside went for a motorcycle ride and um, even went out to dinner on Friday night. What a treat. Everything I had was deep fried. <laughs> uh, I was just uh, craving that grease, so now I had my fix. Just using my gesso and a brayer and pushing that background back so that we can create our texture. And I am leaving the music notes peeking through, which you'll see in the video, in the pictures, I'm sorry, at the end given my little index card another coat of gesso because I didn't want that to be yellow for my flag. All right, I'm gonna use a little bit of brown paint and it's from Deco Art and it's raw sienna. I'm gonna make the ground for my truck to roll on and then I'm gonna add some blue to the sky and create a nice summer sky with some clouds and yep, it was a perfect day for Memorial Day. And this blue I had in my stash, it's um, kind of a old paint and it wouldn't come out so I just cut the top off. Using my brayer again and creating that bright sunny blue sky in the background. I like this brayer technique. It gets it um, real nice and textured with the paint. And here I added a little more gesso for clouds. And um, it goes on real quick and sketchy and I like the technique. So try it out. Let me know what you think in the comments below if you try it. I'd love to see it. And we're going to have to give that a dry and I'm going to set it aside while I work on some other pieces for the for the piece of art. I'm going to work on my flag. So I just used some of this red stripe from this napkin and I couldn't mess this up because I only had one napkin. I'm going to have to try and get some more and I'm just going to put that down with some matte medium and a clean brush. And I'm gonna give it a cover over the top so that it's nice and sealed down. Look there, I cut myself. Ah, it was one of those days. Put 
there. I'm liking how that's turning out. Looks pretty cool. And I gotta go get a band-aid for my finger there. <laughs> so I'm gonna use the stars and I'm going to finish up this flag and I thought that looked super cute for the idea I had. I'm gonna use the truck with some flowers in the back and then a nice flag to celebrate Memorial Day. Thank you to all the veterans out there who have got us our freedom and my hat's off to you. I'm going to set something heavy on this little flag I created and I'm going to work on my truck. And again, this truck is by Sean Petit and there's two sizes. I'm using the larger one and I just had this piece of wallpaper that was like a country barn and I thought, well, how appropriate. I'm adding some of that raw sienna paint onto the stencil to get the outline and actually it ended up looking kind of like the truck was rusty. So super great technique also. And um, yeah, try it, check it out. It was fun. This was a really fun piece. And I'm gonna let that dry and I'm going to cut it out. And I couldn't waste that paint that was on my stencil there. So I thought, well, let's quick throw it into the back of page for uh, art journal. I thought it would be really neat. Just using up my paint too. You know how I hate to waste paint. Yeah, that's pretty cool, isn't it? We'll work on that later. All right, so. I found a um, print on um, Pinterest that said God Bless America and I cut it all apart. I liked the um, font of it. I'm using my carbon paper and my stylus and I'm going all around the lettering and I'm giving it a pretty firm, uh, pretty firm uh, press on here to make sure that my carbon paper went through to the back. I like this technique and um, it really looks great on the piece. It was fun to finish. I wasn't sure how to do these letters but it worked out in the end. You can see my hair sticking up in the camera there, I apologize. I was kind of rushing on this one to finish today because it was Memorial Day and the sun was shining and I wanted to get outside and right now it's 1230 I don't want the day to be gone so I put that truck down with my um, matte gel because it's thicker it's wallpaper and I did cut out that window so here I'm going to add some flowers with this textured sponge and some green paint just adding um, what I thought looked like a truck full of flowers because everybody's going to the, the farmer's market and they're going to the floral shops and the Amish greenhouses and they're getting their flowers. So this guy had a bunch of flowers. Adding just um, some yellow and orange flowers to my greenery and I'm just using a brush and just making dots there. Nothing fancy at all about this. looks good and that's how the flag is going to go in the back so i've got to color in um this god bless america and i thought well let's do it red white and blue why not so i have some deco art paints and this one is santa red and i'm using a thin brush i had my white i used for gesso and then my blue I used a brilliant blue and it's by Artist Loft, a real inexpensive paint, but the color was absolutely right. So I'm going to go ahead off camera and fill all those in. It took a little bit, but it's art. You need to be patient, right? So I'm using some of my burnt umber paint and some water and I'm going to create that wash like I like to do and make this piece come alive. This is the best part, I think. So going ahead and putting my towel down and covering the whole piece with the burnt umber wash and I'm going to add some water with my spray bottle 
and I'm going to let it run and drip and get in all those snooks and crannies and then we'll get on to the charcoal pencil and the shadows. This is a fun one. Pretty cool, huh? I like it. And if you wanted to know the size of this piece, that um, board was 10 by 10. So yeah, use what you got. Yeah, I like it. Ooh, gotta let it dry. And then I'm gonna go in with my charcoal pencil, my brown intense watercolor, and I had to go around that bless. Now I used my charcoal pencil and filled in all of the areas on the truck and I went and got the stencil back out so I could see what I was doing here. And that works out real nice. Use that stencil so you can see what you're doing. And I went around everything and I'm giving it some nice dimension shadows and yeah, super fun. This is a great truck that Sean created and I love using it. She put it out actually for Christmas and I never got to use it in time. So Memorial Day is just the perfect day also for it. Making sure those tires are nice and filled in with black using my charcoal pencil. And that is a 6B extra soft. Now I'm creating shadow underneath the truck and doesn't it start to come alive? Pulls it all together. And at the end, I didn't show you this part, but when I put the black edge around with my black marabou crayon, I actually did go underneath the truck with the black marabou crayon because that is really super dark and it filled it in just great. So here I'm using um, a Stabilo oil pencil and some water and a clean brush and going around the truck and creating that a shadow and definition. I'm going to do it all and I'm going to work on the lettering here. And you see I was using my charcoal pencil. I thought better of it. I thought maybe I needed to use my black Stabilo oil pencil. Well, I went around it and it seemed way too dark for me. I needed it to be a little calmer like um, the brown. So I did work on this blessed quite a bit here, and most of it will be off camera. But I wiped off all the black Stabilo pencil, and I went back in with my bark colored ink tents watercolor pencil because I wanted it to be more vintage like old fashioned and not quite so bold. So here I got out my letters that I used to write down the sentiment and use that as a guide also so I could see what I was doing. So here everything is filled in and fixed up and now I'm going over the bless with my white pastel pencil and make sure you have a real nice point down there get it nice and sharp and then that really made the definition that I needed. And I thought the red and the blue were a little uh, calm, so I actually got out two watercolor pencils, my red one and blue one, and I'll link them below what kind I have, and I used that to fill in those letters to make that really pop. Here I'm adding a little bit of white to that flag because um, when you add bright white to something that's vintage like that, it even makes the brown kind of pop. I'm adding a tiny little bit of yellow and orange to the headlights and taillights of the truck. And I thought maybe a little bit of the silver would be really cool for the inside of that uh, wheel. Not too much. And then I used my charcoal pencil to define the edge a lot. turning out real cool so just going ahead and 
back and forth, adding those highlights and lowlights. I'm going to get out that white pastel pencil again and just keep going until we get it how we like it. Redefining that letters a little bit on the blast. Went around the God and America. And here's where I got out my red and blue pencil in my watercolor pencils. And that really made it pop real nice. What a fun piece. I hope you guys try it. It'll be great for 4th of July and Labor Day also. All summer long this would be a fun piece to, you know, put out in your entryway or put out on, in your three season porch. And super great for a gift too, wouldn't it be? using that white pastel pencil and then I also got out my white um, Stabilo All pencil. Here I almost forgot to put around that black edge that I love to do. You'll see it in the photos at the end. I love how it turned out. I'm glad you watched. I ha hope you have a great safe Memorial Day. And we have only a four-day week this week. That's awesome. So stay tuned. Hope you enjoyed. Be sure to comment, share, and like. And we'll see you on Saturday for an Art Journal page. Thanks for watching.